Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. This is just a very short video that's going to look at a conditional formatting option which can allow you to format your workbook with zebra stripes. So this might be similar to how it might appear if you were to format this as a table. I'm going to use a shortcut Control and T and click OK. And you can see that this table has these zebra stripes. But you might have a workbook where you've got some data that for one reason or another you don't want formatted the table but you still want to get that formatting and you want it to update. This is quite easy to do. You're going to select the data that you want to apply that formatting to. We're going to come to conditional formatting and we're going to come to new rule. We're going to use a formula to determine this zebra formatting and it's quite easy. What we're going to do is we're going to say equals is even and we're going to open our brackets and we're going to do row and we're going to close our brackets up and we're going to set our format as a light grey colour. And we're going to click OK and OK again. And you can see that it's formatted that as zebra formatting. And if we insert some new rows, you can see that those have actually just automatically updated that zebra formatting. So why does this work? So we're going to start with that row function. So row essentially, when you open when you use it, it gives returns the number of the row that you are in. And essentially then what the is even function does is even and if we point it to that result from the row it basically tells you if it's it's true if it's even and it's false if it's odd so this one's odd so if we were to drag this down you can see you're getting them alternating true and false you could also use the is odd formula in here instead and we'll turn the opposite result if you want your zebra striping starting on an odd row than an even you might use that instead so essentially when you wrap those two functions together, so putting that row function in here instead, we will return that conditional formatting for everything that is returning it true with that function. So that's just a quick overview of how to use conditional formatting to apply that zebra formatting in your workbook. That you found that video useful, remember to give it a thumbs up and I do look forward to seeing you next time.